Hello, everyone, and welcome to Behind the Beat with Arthur L.A. Buckner. I'm here to show you some concepts that I use in hip-hop, R&B, and gospel drumming. Okay, uh, in this first video, what I want to talk about is uh, what's known also popularly as the Dilla feel. This feel was named after one of the most innovative hip-hop producers of all time, Jay Dilla. Um, he's a producer out of Detroit. He worked with artists like Slum Village, Dwelle, Busta Rhymes, The Tribe Called Quest, um, Erica Badu. His production is, is very prevalent all throughout hip hop and, uh, and R&B, neo soul music. He did this thing with his drums and his music and his beats. Uh, it, it created a feeling, a, a certain sound, the uh, dragged but rushed sound, the, uh, the tension release, the behind the beat feeling that you hear all throughout neo soul music, hip hop music. That is what Jay Dilla created. There are several ways to emulate the Dilla feel in your drumming. Um, several different ways to go about it. One way that I use is with the hi-hats. Straight eighth notes are black and swung dotted eighth notes are white. Then I wanna play in the gray area, okay? It's, it's gonna be in between straight and swung. It's gonna be both strung, okay? Straight and swung in between that area, is the gray area is what I call. Here's an example of what I mean. Did you hear that? It wasn't swung all the way, it wasn't straight all the way, but it was in the middle. It was strung, strung in the gray area, okay? I'll give you another example um, where I'll add another note on the kick, boom, cat, boom, boom, cat. That's the first way that I really emulate the Dilla feel. And you can hear this all throughout um, hip hop music. Uh, one song that comes to mind is Slim and Juicy by Chris Dave and the Drumheads on his mixtape. You'll hear a perfect example of that in between, behind the beat, strong gray area, hi-hat movement. Notice in the middle where we're in the gray area, there's a, a, a rub between the bass drum and the hi-hat. It's like not all the way synced together. When it's straight, it's synced together. And if, if you swing, da, 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 boom, boom, ba, boom, it, that's synced together. But when you're in the middle with that Dilla feel, there's a, there's a, a, a bit of a clash in between the hi-hat and the kick drum. Well, that rub, that clash, that's what creates the, the, the Dilla feel. That's what creates the vibe. That, um, that rub that you hear between that. It's very similar to where you would hear um, Little Richard back in the day, and his drummer's playing this shuffle, do to got to do to got to do to got to do to got to. But Little Richard's playing a straight thing on the piano, ding 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 ding. There's a rub in between that creates that early rock and roll feeling. That's similar to the rub that you hear between the kick and the hi hat with this Jay Dilla thing. Now I feel this Dilla feel is best captured when the hi hat is is subtle. A lot of drummers you'll hear they'll force the the attention to the hi-hat and it sounds something like this that's cool however i feel the the vibe is best captured when the hi-hats are in the back of the mix when it's subtle Thank you for joining me. This has been Behind the Beat with LA. I'll give you one more example. <laughs> 